The most awaited IPO, SBI Cards and Payment Services, is hitting the Lal Street on 2nd of March and it closes on 5th of March. The lower price band of the issue is Rs. 750 per share and the upper price band of the issue is Rs. 755 per share with lot size of 19 shares. The IPO consists of fresh issue of equity shares up to Rs. 500 crores and offer for sale up to Rs. 9800 crores. So here are the reasons why you should subscribe for this IPO. Firstly, the novel thing about SBI cards is that though the company is a payments provider company, the company is registered as an NBFC with RBI. The company is promoted and blessed by the oldest public sector bank, the State Bank of India. SBI is the second largest credit card provider of India only after HDFC Bank with a market share of 18% in terms of number of credit card outstanding and a market share of 17% in terms of credit card spend. Secondly, India is currently working with less than 5% cards per capita and hence India's credit card industry has a room for a tremendous growth to the credit card providers, especially SBI cards. Thirdly, as a business, it is delivering much higher growth when compared to the average industry. And this is clearly visible from the total credit card spends, which has grown at a CAGR of 54% as compared to the industry average of 35% CAGR. A similar growth in credit cards outstanding of SBI cards is much higher and better than the average growth seen in the industry. Now moving ahead to financials, the company is financially sound and has established a proven track record of consistently generating profits over the past three fiscal years. Revenue from operations has grown at a CAGR of 44%, whereas the profit after tax have grown at a CAGR of 52%. Now coming on to valuations, SBI cards is valued at around 46 times its price to earnings ratio. And keeping in mind the current market scenario and the foreseeable growth of the credit card industry, the valuation seems reasonable. And hence, we recommend to subscribe this IPO. Thank you.